Shishok, Shishak or Suzak, Ancient Greek, Sigma Omicron Upsilon Sigma Alpha Kappa Iota Mu, Romanized, Sausakim, was, according to the Hebrew Bible, an Egyptian pharaoh who sacked Jerusalem in the 10th century BCE. He is usually identified with the pharaoh Shoshankai. Chapter 1 Biblical Narrative Shishok's campaign against the kingdom of Judah and his sack of Jerusalem are recounted in the Hebrew Bible, in 1 Kings 14:25 and 2 Chronicles 12 1-12. According to these accounts, Shishok had provided refuge to Jeroboam during the later years of Solomon's reign, and upon Solomon's death, Jeroboam became king of the tribes in the north, which separated from Judah to become the kingdom of Israel. In the fifth year of Rehoboam's reign, commonly dated ca. 926 BCE, Shishok swept through Judah with a powerful army of 60,000 horsemen and 1,200 chariots, in support of Jeroboam. According to 2 Chronicles 12:3, he was supported by the Lubim, the Sukim, and the Cushites. Shishok took away treasures of the Temple of Yahweh and the king's house, as well as shields of gold which Solomon had made, Rehoboam replaced them with brass ones. According to 2 Chronicles. When Shishok, king of Egypt attacked Jerusalem, he carried off the treasures of the Temple of the Lord and the treasures of the royal palace. He took everything, including the gold shields Solomon had made. Flavius Josephus in Antiquities of the Jews adds to this a contingent of 400,000 infantrymen. According to Josephus, his army met with no resistance throughout the campaign, taking Rehoboam's most fortified cities without fighting. Finally, he conquered Jerusalem without resistance, because Rehoboam was afraid. She shocked, did not destroy Jerusalem, but forced King Rehoboam of Judah to strip the temple and his treasury of their gold and movable treasures. Shishok was also related by marriage to Jeroboam. The wife of Jeroboam is unnamed in the Masoretic text, but according to the Septuagint, she was an Egyptian princess called Anyo. And Sasakim gave to Jeroboam Anyo the eldest sister of Thekmina his wife, to him as wife, she was great among the king's daughters. Chapter 2, Shishok's Name Texts written in various ancient languages, seem to indicate that the first vowel was both long and round, and the final vowel was short. For example, the name is written in the Hebrew Bible as. The variant readings in Hebrew, which are due to confusion between the letters less than greater than Yod and less than greater than Vav that are particularly common in the Masoretic text, indicate that the first vowel, was long in pronunciation. The Septuagint uses sigma omicron upsilon sigma alpha kappa iota mu, derived from the marginal reading of Hebrew. This indicates during the 2nd century BC Hebrew speakers or Alexandrian Greek speakers pronounced the name with an initial long close backrounded vowel. Chapter 3, Shishok identified as Pharaoh Shoshank I. In the very early years after the decipherment of Egyptian hieroglyphs on chronological, historical, and linguistic grounds, nearly all Egyptologists identified Shishok with Shoshankai of the 22nd dynasty, who invaded Canaan following the Battle of Bitter Lakes. This position was maintained by most scholars ever since, and is still the majority position. The fact that Shoshankai left behind explicit records of a campaign into Canaan, including a stele at Megiddo supports the traditional interpretation. There are however some notable exceptions, such as Jerusalem itself which is not mentioned in any of his campaign records. This would seem contradictory to the biblical account which explicitly mentions Jerusalem. Nevertheless, a common variant of Shoshank's name omits its and glyphs, resulting in a pronunciation like, Shoshik. Chapter 4, The Babastit Portal the Babastit portal, a relief discovered at Karnak, in Upper Egypt, and similar reliefs on the walls of a small temple of Amun at El Haibi, shows Pharaoh Shoshankai holding in his hand a bound group of prisoners. The names of captured towns are located primarily in, the territory of the Kingdom of Israel, with a few listed in the Negeb, and perhaps Philistia. 
Some of these include a few of the towns that Rehoboam had fortified according to Chronicles. The portal is generally believed to record a historical campaign of Sheshonkai in Judah, but it makes no mention of Jerusalem being sacked, nor of Rehoboam or Jeroboam. Various explanations of this omission of Jerusalem have been proposed, its name may have been erased, the list may have been copied from an older pharaoh's list of conquests, or Rehoboam's ransoming the city would have saved it from being listed. Chapter 5, Critical Questions It has been claimed that the numbers of Egyptian soldiers given in Chronicles can be safely ignored as impossible on Egyptological grounds, similarly, the numbers of chariots reported in two Chronicles is likely exaggerated by a factor of ten, leading 60,000 horses through the Sinai and Negev would have been logistically impossible, and no evidence of Egyptian cavalry exists from before the 27th dynasty. The treasures taken by Shishok are also highly unlikely. Firstly, no united monarchy of Israel and Judah errs in Shoshank's list of conquered enemies, second, the material culture of 10th century Jerusalem and surroundings is alleged by some scholars such as Israel Finkelstein to have been too primitive to allow for any treasure that an Egyptian pharaoh would have been interested in. Finkelstein concludes that the looting narrative should probably be seen as a theological construct rather than as historical references. Chapter 6, Fringe Theories Other identifications of Shishok have been put forward by chronological revisionists, arguing that Shoshank's account does not match the biblical account very closely, but these are considered fringe theories. In his book Ages in Chaos, Emmanuel Velikovsky identified him with Tutmos III of the 18th dynasty. More recently, David Roll's new chronology identified him with Ramesses II of the 19th dynasty, and Peter James has identified him with Ramesses III of the 20th dynasty. Chapter 7, In Popular Culture Shishok is mentioned in Steven Spielberg's action-adventure film Raiders of the Lost Ark as the pharaoh who seized the Ark of the Covenant from the Temple of Solomon during his raids on Jerusalem and hid it in the Well of Souls in Tanis.